What's good, y'all? It's your boy Fro Fizzle in the building. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2002 film, Signs, directed by M. Night Shalom. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. I think the acting all around is pretty strong, you know, despite how wonky the dialogue and the script can be. Mel Gibson does a great job as the father of the Hess family. He plays a pastor that loses his faith when his wife dies in a car crash. Rory Culkin does a great job playing the young son. I actually think a pretty solid performance. I believe this was Abigail Breslin's first movie. I might be wrong, but if it's her first movie, she did a great job for her debut. I would say my favorite performance is Joaquin Phoenix as the brother. Clumsy, bumbling dude. He's damn near the comedic relief of the film. Even Shamanamana Ding Dong does a little cameo as the guy who runs over Mel Gibson's wife accidentally. Shit, I know you. You're Merrill Hess. I was there the day you hit that 507 footer over the left field wall. Set the record. Man, that thing had a motor on it. It's still the record, right? Got the bat at home on the wall. You've got two minor league home run records, don't you? Five. Why weren't you in the pros making stacks of cash and getting your toes licked by beautiful women? I have to admit, as a kid, I've had a couple of nightmares here and there just off of the fucking alien. I think the design is great, creepy, tall and menacing, but there are little glimpses of CGI that I feel don't hold up too well. But it hasn't distracted me from the reason why I love this movie. The cornfield scenes, they're really creepy, they look great shot very well really tense atmosphere when the camera's closing in on mel gibson and mel's looking around trying to find out what's the problem with the cornfields one of my favorite little subtle moments is when he drops the fucking flashlight on the ground he kneels down taps at it to make it work shines the light over and there's a fucking alien leg popping right out of the stalk it's a little more simple now re-watching it but as a kid, that one little shot freaked me out. A fucking leg poking out of a fucking corn stalk. My biggest nitpick with the fucking movie is the ending. You're telling me aliens came to our fucking planet that's surrounded by water just to get killed and threatened by water. I still love this movie, but that nitpick is a pretty big one for me. After a recent rewatch, I still love Signs. Think it's well done. Great job from Shalom Alamahayim. Great performances all around. The writing is a little funky and weird at times, but I still have fun with it. That fucking birthday party scene gave me fucking nightmares as a kid. But that's just me. When you rewatch it now, it's a little goofy, but it's still pretty damn creepy. Still gives me chills a little. I recognize that Shalom Alahayim has better movies technically, like The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, so forth. But Signs might be my favorite film from him, despite the really goofy ending. I'm going to give Signs a 9 out of 10. I really love this one. Thank y'all for watching. It's been your boy Fro Thizzle. Subscribe for some more videos, and I appreciate y'all. Peace, nigga. Bong.